Good. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to take this Honda engine and we're going to put it in my Corrado. Just kidding. We're not going to do that at all. Brandy, who's recording and won't show her face because she's gay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. We're going to go look at Brandy's Mustang, and then when we're done with that, we're going to take the engine out of this Corrado, which you guys can't see, but the engine's already out because we're recording the intro after we already did all of this. Sitting over there. So let's get to it. We gotta get some video of the Mustang. No, not yet. Yeah. No, not yet. Why not? <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? We're over here working on Brandy's Mustang. Well, we're kind of done working on it for tonight, but Brandy wants to tell everyone about it. So, what do we have to do yet, Brandy? Okay, hold on. I'm not ready. <laughs> Good bloopers. No! Wait, turn it off. Alright, it's off. No, it's not. I'm just getting the lighting right. No, you're not. You have to be in the video, Brandy. You're too close. Tell everyone about your car. I'm going to edit all this. Okay, we'll turn it off for now. We need to have a conversation. You're in Getting on my crappy one, too. The lighting's better out here. Alright, Brandy. You can sit in the rolly chair if you want. You can sit in the rolly chair in front of the... It'll be like an interview. <laughs> Do you like Mustangs? Yes. What was the Mustang like when you first got it? Garbage. Not really garbage. It was all in pieces. All the pieces are in the trunk or in the trunk and inside the car. It was a mess. How long ago did you get the Mustang? In back in February, beginning of February. All right, and since then, how how much stuff have we got done to it? Cow's done. Took the bottom of the and the top of the cow out. Put a new one in. Welded it in. Welded the the yeah. We welded it, guys. <laughs> we welded it. I don't know what we welded, but we welded it. What did we weld? Well, I was here for most of this when we welded. Well, you welded plates in. Patched a bunch of plates and stuff. Mm -hmm. Welded the counter the firewall. Had to weld the firewall in. And as you can see, there's an engine in it now. It's, I mean, it's came a long way. It's got an engine and trans. Yeah. We just got that in this weekend. I should have took video of that. Well, actually, that was Friday night. Mm -hmm. We were working on it till midnight. No, it was one o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock. And what else do we have to do yet? Mm. Well, you got your lit here. We'll roll you over to your list. Don't hit the Mustang. Hit anything else but the Mustang. Oh, I need all brake stuff, dash pad, bumper shocks, the starter because the starter doesn't fit that one. I thought you had bumpers. Isn't that why you got that one? Yeah, out there? I didn't give them yet. Uh, Those two. Probably can't find them. Probably in the back. The 
Is my hidey hole? That's where you'll find Brandy when we're working on the Mustang. She'll be in there sleeping. No, I'll be trying to sleep. He doesn't allow. I'm comfy. Yeah. I'm comfy. <laughs> Battery. Oops. Her battery's going, maybe. Maybe. Depends if it fits in the front. It does fit. Well then, going in the front. <laughs> It has no brakes at all. We have some of the brake lines are in, right? Mm -hmm. Fuel lines are in too. Dash pad. And we got to figure out how to hook up the clutch. Cause this has a T5 trans from what? 94 Cobra? 94 GT. 94 GT. Mm -hmm. Need seats put in. I need to drill holes in the floor. We need to weld those pieces for the back seats on the floor. That way the back of the bottom of the seat stays. So if you <laughs> have Radio. passengers in the back, they don't slide forward? Nobody's flying in the back. This is my car. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get in the passenger seat. Okay. I need mirrors. If I don't know if I want to put badges on it yet or not, or just let it look like a six-cylinder. Exhaust? A starter? Why? You don't need exhaust? No. We're just going to run open manifold. I need to put the grill on. My pony needs to go in the middle. I don't know if I want to put the big pony in the middle or not. I get the hood on, hood hinges. The springs need to go in the hood hinges. We need parts off that yet. And we gotta get this motor connected. 302. Out of? 79. I think it was a 74. 74 what? Granada? Yeah. Is that it, right? Yeah. 74 Granada with the 94 T5. 94 T5 trans. Mm -hmm. Five speed. Okay. I'll have to get it. That shifter sits so nice in there. That was perfect. We didn't even have to modify that at all. Alright, so that's uh, actually right now. Where's, where'd your mom put that cross member? Right now we're trying to modify a cross member to fit the transmission. There it is. We're trying to modify this cross member that we got with the transmission to fit her car because the one that we need is $160 and she still needs a bunch of stuff before Mukunji. So basically we're going to have to shorten this. We marked it. And then we already cut the ends off. So there's the ends there. And there's the transmission. And that's where the mount goes on the transmission. So we're basically just fabbing up our own bracket to try and save a little bit of money. And we like fabbing stuff here. Right, Brandy? Oh, yeah. See your legs. Come here. And that's going to pretty much wrap this up. We're going to head over to my house. We can drive it without a windshield. Yeah, we could drive it without a windshield. We're going to head over to my house now and probably pull the engine out of the Corrado and then go to sleep because we've been working on cars all weekend. Got the exhaust done on the freaking dad wagon. Brandy's driving. Back at my house now. Brandy's gonna help me get this motor out of the Corrado so we can get started on the OBD2 swap. Right, Brandy? Yeah. You look so thrilled. Oh, I am. So the other night, Brandy was over here and she helped me get the front end off this thing, get it all apart so we can pull the engine out of it. Uh, the only thing we have left to do before we can take the engine out is the axles need to be disconnected back here. Um, that should be pretty easy to do. I've done that a hundred times. I got to disconnect the slave cylinder and then we have to take the trans mount out of the way and loosen up the motor mount so we can pull the whole engine up and out. Uh, the new engine, when you come over here Brandy, 
Um, this is a distributor motor. The OBD1 VR6s were. Some of them had a coil pack. Uh, the other thing the OBD1s had was a metal valve cover, which I'll probably swap over to the new engine. All the other ones are plastic. But the OBD2 conversion will get rid of this distributor and we'll get to put a coil pack on there. Um, we'll get a new ECU that we can easily tune with chip tuning. I did go over the cooling system on this thing before the head gasket went. Didn't seem to help at all. But I have the ECS build aluminum crack pipe. Just some small stuff that we'll swap over to the new engine that I pick up for it. Alright, so we're going to get started on pulling this engine out of here. Uh, hopefully we'll get it done tonight. And then in my next upload, I can talk about the OBD2 conversion. I got the driver's side axle disconnected. And Brandy is trying to get the passenger side axle bolts out. How's it going, Brandy? <laughs> Are you stripping them out? I'm not. All right, we got all the axle bolts out. We had one that was stripped. So if you're ever working on one of these and the triple square bolt for the axle is stripped, you can just pound a 12 point, 12 millimeter socket on there. It is a kind, it's kind of a pain in the butt because the boot is right up against the bolt on the axle boot. So you can't really get it in there, but if you smack it enough, you can get the socket on there and then just get new bolts for it. Now Brandy's going to drain my oil. Right, Brandy? You need a 17 millimeter socket. Oh, <laughs> get your ass over here. I am here. All right, so it's 11 o'clock. We got stuck with that freaking axle for a while, and then there was just everything took a while, so... This thing's actually ready to come out. I'm going to get the engine hoist. We're going to freaking yank this thing out. And then we're going to go get a shower because it's almost dirty. Well, we're both dirty. How dare you put my tools away? I thought you said this was a freaking flathead for the hose clamp. Look at that thing. It's obviously a vice grip. out <laughs> now we just gotta find another engine to put on it and do the obd2 swap what do you think brandy should we stick a 302 in there definitely you think it would fit mm, debatable i think a 302 would fit in here the problem is you'd never fit the freaking transmission in you'd have to cut up the firewall probably Send it. <laughs> um, but we're going to get started on pulling this thing out of here. Hopefully we'll have the engine out tonight and then in my next video. <laughs> so we're going to get started on this and... Did you stop it? Okay. Good thing they can't smell that. <laughs> so what do we have to do yet, Brandy? Okay, hold on, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good bloopers. No! Wait, turn it off. Alright, it's off. No, it's not. I'm just getting the lighting right. No, you're not. Alright, so what all have you done to the Mustang so far, Brandy? No, look, hey, look here. What do you? You have to ask like simple questions, not like that all at once. 
because they're locked and I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Do you like Mustangs? Yes. Is this your Mustang? Yes. See, we'll just keep it to yes and no questions. All right. No. Yeah.